construction is not the only company, the only types of companies that can file mechanics liens. Mechanics can. It's basically any time where you're performing a service and getting paid for it. It's just a way to ensure that your service gets paid by the people who hired you to do the service. So keep that in mind. You don't have to be a contractor for this to apply to you. You can be another small type of small business owner and file the same preliminary lien. Anytime someone owes you money for a service and they have a, the item that you worked on, in this case it would be the lot for me. If it was mechanic, it would be your car. That's how mechanics can, can gain the title to your car by replacing your engine or whatever and then you're not paying it. So my first experience with not filing a preliminary lien, that cost me over $3,000. What happened is we got to the end of this job and the lady didn't want to make the last payment. And I thought there was nothing I could do about it. So I just kind of dropped it and left it with her owing me money and walked away from it. But this is exactly why liens are a thing, is so that you can get paid for the work that you did. So the first important number to keep track of when you're considering filing a lien is 20. You have 20 days from the day you did the work to file that lien. If you don't file it within those 20 days, then you will never get a lien. They won't even consider giving you a lien. So you're never gonna get paid for that. So you need to do that. Typically you do it when you start a project or within 20 days of starting the project. If you don't do that, if you do it 40 days into starting the project, then the first 20 days you don't actually get, get paid for. So by this time, your company should already be registered with the state construction registry. That's how they do it in Utah. I assume that other states are kind of a similar procedure. But as soon as you're registered with that state construction registry, you can go in, you log into your account, and then it'll have a place for that of where you need to file the preliminary lien. I'll put a link for that in the description so it's not very confusing. Sometimes it doesn't show up on search engines very well, so I'll put a link for the Utah one anyways. So you can just click right on that page. The next thing you're going to need to know is a parcel number. Every, every lot that's sold in Utah has a parcel number, so you need that number to be able to file a lien against that property. Uh, specifically, it's a mechanic lien, but if you don't have a parcel number, then you can't file a preliminary lien. So what if you don't have a parcel number? Well, I'll leave a link to that site in the description too. It's actually the same site as the Utah State Construction Registry, but there's another page you can go on and as long as you have the address, you need the address. So if you don't know where you're working, you need to figure that out first. Put in the address and it'll give you the the parcel number, take that parcel number, log into your account with the state construction registry, enter that information when you're filing your preliminary lien. If you can figure out how to log into your account at the Utah State Construction Registry, and if you can figure out how to have the parcel number, that is all the information you need to know to file for a preliminary lien. That and the address. But everything else is uh, information you probably already have. I know in a perfect world, you wouldn't ever have to file a lien. You wouldn't have to file a preliminary notice or anything. Unfortunately, we don't live in a perfect world. The more business I do, the more I realize how many people are really just genuinely just trying to take your money from you, put it in their pocket, get you to do things for free. Uh, they don't really care. So you gotta protect yourself in this preliminary lien is one of the ways that that the government makes it so you can protect yourself. This is the way they have of forcing people to act like civilized people and pay you for your services. Well, I hope you found some of the information in this video helpful. I know for me, when I was first starting my business, it was really confusing, and I'm hoping to, with these series of videos, take some of that confusion out of running a business and starting a new company. Uh, if you like this video, please hit the like button and consider subscribing. I'm planning on releasing a bunch more videos. 
And then I also have another channel. This channel is where I, I build most of the stuff. I film all the stuff that I'm building as a contractor, as an entrepreneur. Feel free to watch that and subscribe to that channel as well. Thanks for watching.